Hey, welcome to episode three of the Electron series. Today we're going to be talking about uh, using um, Electron with React. I have a, you can use a pretty simple boilerplate code that doesn't actually use Redux or anything like that. So it's actually it's pretty awesome to get started with. Before I get into that, I just want to do a little bit of explaining. This is going to take 40 seconds. Um, so I, I published out um, Electron series episode two about a couple weeks ago, actually. Um, and they're supposed to come out weekly, but they ended up didn't. What uh, they didn't. So what happened was I, I recorded this big long, uh, I, I figured oh you know I'd just create an app and, I'll, and I'll, I'll show how to do it and I did that um, so what I didn't realize was the app was actually it took me like an hour and a half to build um, I was hoping to actually do it a lot quicker than that I realized that no one really wanted to watch an hour and a half video plus um, I had to edit an hour and a half video and I, I had so many clips and stuff because it was through over the course of multiple mornings it just became this big mess. So I've actually decided to just scrap all that. Um, the content will still, the actual electron parts will still be there. And going forward, all the videos will be kind of uh, uh, exp explanation of um, some sort of attribute, like you know how to put, um, you do a drop down from a tr uh, the taskbar, or you know how to send notifications. And I'll show you a demo, sorry, a, an example of this, and then I'll show a real example inside um, an actual electron app. But I should. The point of this video is React with Electron, and if you look at my screen right now, this is um, a fork from um, the code originally here. I'll explain the difference between the fork and my version. And this is um, essentially a really simple ver uh, React uh, Electron app. Um, there's, my, as you can see, as of right now, the recording of this video, mine's four commits ahead. The difference between mine and uh, the original is essentially he didn't use um, HTML in, in the webpack. Not the build, then the dev one. Um, he didn't use uh, right here HTML Webpack plugin. He didn't use a template, um, so he did a few things differently. Or him or she, I don't know. Actually, didn't look at the user. Um, but I, but as a result, people were uh, someone made an issue, and I realized I had the same issue. You can actually set information like a title, or you can add um, Google fonts or custom CSS, third-party CSS, things like that. And so I went ahead and actually added an index.html which resulted in adding this config file. I also renamed um, containers here to be, uh, uh, sorry, components to be containers. Um, other things I did, I think that's it for now. So there is a slight difference between our R to our um, two versions. So open up a terminal. I'm gonna navigate onto my desktop. I'm just gonna do a git, nothing worse than that. git clone, and I'm gonna paste the link to this boilerplate code, and I'm going to do a CD into there, and I'm going to do an npm install. Now, one thing is, uh, please start this repo if you use it. Um, check it out. Um, if you have any issues uh, with my fork version, file them on my version as they are different. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. So just npm run uh, dev, which is going to run the dev package. Um, a little tour of the code. Uh, there's two webpack, your main JS file is still here, so in Electron you have your main and your render, uh, your main handles yeah, kind of everything related to the application state, um, and then your renderer, which is actually an entire React application, is going to be anything that's being displayed, so it's not this public, it's under source, and the first thing that gets displayed is essentially the app component here, and it, it just references a component called hello world which is just text that says hello world but as you can see this is kind of um, it renders the entire um, react environment um, react router does not work so you can kind of just maintain a path with with the in state in that app state if you keep everything as a child of that that's one solution there um, it can render it images um, it has all those loaders set up it has um, CSS loaders set up as well so that's kind of a little bit about the actual code base. This is still installing. Um, there's nothing that has to be changed to get it running. Um, I'm going to use this as kind of my starting point for all, all future videos. Um, I also have um, a, sp a speed test application that I'm going to release. Um, and it has a lot of these. It's, it's a really simple application. That's why I built it. And it's, gonna, it's essentially a drop-down taskbar like this and it just tells you what your current internet speed is. 
it has your IPC main renderer and IPC main and IPC renderer communication. That video will be coming out uh, next week. It has um, how to do a taskbar, how to send notifications, how to make HTTP calls, things like that. So um, ch please subscribe, check out future videos. Um, I'm not done yet. Okay, now that this is installed, so just do an npm run dev. And sorry, this also sits on port 4000. His sits on port, um, him or her, their, uh, sits on port uh, 8888. That was a really popular port. You know, MAMP uses it, Blockstack uses it. So I just decided to change up the port as well. And as you can see, um, it loads this Hello uh, Electron app. Um, the dev tools open up to, um, automatically. This can be just turned off if you go to the main. Um, right now, this line here, if dev, open up the dev tools, you just comment that out, it'll remove it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the app. It creates a single window. Um, you know, here it is. It uh, loads it, um, you know. Uh, it kind of, it's all set up. It's kind of awesome that way. So check it out. Please tell me what you think. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please like, please share it, uh, and please subscribe because I have a new Electron video every week. Hopefully that actually continues to happen. Um, I kind of failed uh, with we after week two, so let's do this.